Well, Matt Dale's been in this position before. He's got two runners in the Kosciuszko this year already. Front page, he's won the last two. And also Cavalier Charles. Good to have those spots locked away, Matt. Um, you must be very excited. Two runners. Yeah, absolutely, Graham. We The same two runners that we had last year. And um, uh, the front page is following the exact path as we we followed last year. And um, he's, he's moving very well. His attitude's good. His coat's just started to move. And um, he's right on track. So we're happy to have him. He'll have a, an unofficial jump out here at Goulburn uh, next week. And then he'll have an official trial um, about 12 days out from the race. And that's exactly what we did last year. Mm, yeah, nothing changes too much. He's a year older. Some people have said, oh, can he do it again? I think he can. Yeah, look, he's lightly raced for an older horse. He's lightly raced, and we've seen it a lot before. These um, older sprinters are at their best, sort of six, seven, eight years old, and um, I see no reason why he can't do it again. Everything he's showing me at home is, is spot on, and I think he profiles to, you know, be the one to beat, clearly, uh, to go for three in a row. And Cavalier Charles, he's been the old war horse of the stable. He, he's never put his name up, you know, in the lights of front page, but he's been, he's ran fourth in the last two years, Cozzies, and without too much luck. You know, getting trapped wide and posted a little and bit bad draws last year from bad mm. draws. So he deserve, deserves his spot, and he too, for an eight-year-old, is moving every bit as good as he's ever moved, and his form's really good. So um, they'll know he's there as well. And you've uh, got to talk to uh, the two slot holders. Tell us a bit about them. I know Penny from Wagga. She used to cut my hair many, many years ago, actually, Matt. Um, and you've got a close affinity with Wagga as well. But the other person, Alan, uh, you yet to meet him as well. Yeah, I've spoke to both both um, slot holders. And um, Alan from... Um, Bulladilla. Bulladilla. He, uh, he called me and he was over the moon. When I told him about the you know the deal and the, the sort of ratio and the sort of prize money, he just couldn't believe it. I won't say what he said on air because it's, <laughs> it's not fit for, for airing. But um, he's, he's over the moon. Excited. He's very excited. And can't wait to meet him. Seems like a salt-of-the-earth guy. He was up in the forest doing some work for the forestry. Um, when I spoke to the, spoke to him, and he, he's just over the moon. He's living out of dreams. So. And he only bought fifty dollars worth of tickets. Is that right? Yeah, he told me he only bought fifty dollars worth of tickets, and and uh, the other lovely Penny. lady, Penny, she bought twenty five dollars worth of tickets. So wow. it just shows, you know, you've got to be in it to win it. And um, back to Penny, she when she called, she had her um, partner call me, Steve, Steve and yep. uh, he had the phone on on loudspeaker, and Penny was um, cutting someone's hair or washing someone's hair. She yeah. she couldn't. Um, she was talking, but she said she's got someone's head in her hand so look just salt of the earth people and we're apt to be involved with them yeah i bet you are they both hardly bought it many tickets they're gonna have the time of their life and alan's never been to randwick before yeah i heard that on the radio actually that he hasn't been to randwick well, he's he's in for a good time so yeah. everest day is something else and um the kosciuszko obviously is is a big part of that yeah. and the build up toward it is, is sensational so and that started weeks ago with buying tickets so yeah. um we can't wait and i'm still hoping to get a third horse yeah. into the race I'm, i i've set martini mama um toward it and uh, she was good there the other day in a real sit and sprint race she'll run again in um, two weeks from tomorrow and she'll be if she gets a ticket she'll be third up in it and drop to 53 kilos so um, she's a real up and comer that uh, I think would deserve a spot in a race like that mm -hmm. big five weeks ahead five weeks tomorrow the races run we wish you well Matt good on you thanks Graham